This is my father's house. Come, rest here a while, sweet gentle maiden. <laughs> nay, nay, do not be afraid, Daly. I nauseous mean you no harm. Who's afraid? What are you, some kind of nut or something? <laughs> nay, nay, I'm your devoted, adoring slave, and I kneel humbly at your beautiful feet. Oh, my <laughs> Lord! Well, there we are. Well, I've uh, fulfilled my mistress's desires. Uh, she's, <laughs> wait a minute, she's dressed and gone now, thank goodness. Not that goodness has much to do with it, but still. Now, where were we? Ah, yes, the prologue. Now this horse, Pegasus, lifted up its head and said... Nay, nay, nay. <laughs> no, it did not. Would you mind not interrupting, please? Mm. This horse, Piccolo... <laughs> what's he up to? Nay, nay, do not move away from me. I want to kiss every little toe. Oh, mm. yes. Oh, charming. Ah, now that, that is Nauseous, the son of my master. Well, at least so his mistress told him at the time. Now, what's he doing? To whom is he giving a pedicure? Mmm, yes. She looks quite a nice piece of patulum. <laughs> hey, patulum. That's Latin for a sort of hot, round, toasted thing we all have at tea time. <laughs> it's, it's all holes on one side and very flat. No, I don't think she's really like a piece of patulum, do you? Uh, greetings, young master. What's afoot? Why, 12 inches, Lurkia. <laughs> Twelve inches. They've got all the best lines, you know. It's not right. Oh, lucky, lucky! Look what beauty I found. Yes. Oh, yes. And there's so much of her. <laughs> Both ways. <laughs> Venus incarnate. Venus. Oh, she must be the one who makes the pencils. Yes. <laughs> Venus incarnate stuff. They call me daily. Yes, and nightly too, I should think. <laughs> Is she not wonderful, Lurkia? Oh, yes, Master. See, I have inscribed an ode to her already. I thought you might. <clears throat> His ode. Behold her beauty, fine as gold, as great as Rome's fair cities. <laughs> Here we are, get ready. <laughs> but greater by far and joy to behold is the greatness of her intellect. <laughs> I couldn't think of a word to rhyme there. Is there one? The, the sender of the first correct solution <laughs> will receive two free tickets to our spectacle. Oh, Lurkio, you. you will find it hard to credit this, but I found this frail and innocent creature in desperate straits. Yeah, she looks as if she'd been on the straits, I must say. <laughs> so desperate with all that she was preparing to sell herself to the highest bidder. Oh, dear. What's he talking about? I was just standing there minding my own business. Yes, well, I think he was talking about your business, dear. <laughs> well, thanks, you, I met her in time to prevent it. Yeah. Lurkio, yes. we must do something to help her. All right, what do you suggest, young master? Well, that's the trouble. I'm at a loss. Yeah. I don't know what to do with her. Yeah, the funny thing is, he doesn't either. He doesn't. <laughs> Not a clue. He's a funny boy, strange boy. I think it's these public schools, you know. They close to them, you see. Lurkia! Yes. Perhaps my father would give her a job in the house. Well... You think so? He'll give her something, that's for sure. <laughs> I'll hire me immediately to the Senate and ask him. That's right, hire you immediately. Because he's a good hire. That's all he does. Hi. Lurkia? Oh, yes. You take her inside. No, you take her inside. I'd rather have her outside. <laughs> inside. Yeah, oh, don't bother, don't bother. Here, what is this? I don't want a household job. He's out of his tiny mind. No, no, madam, show a little respect. That is nauseous, nauseous. And he is the son of one of Pompey's most esteemed and wealthiest senators. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, well, that's different. Uh, what sort of job would it be, then? Well, this may be a silly question, but what can you do? Well, I scrub. I thought it was a silly question. <laughs> well, look, let's discuss this inside. Let us go inside the house together. That's right. Get Not you. <laughs> look, will you stop following me about, please? You can get arrested for this sort of thing. Now, don't worry. I'll tell you what goes on when I come back again, so don't try and behave yourselves, for goodness sake. 